What's going on guys? My name is Drew and welcome back to some more Seven Days to Die where I've moved over to taking on the War of the Walkers update. Hope everyone is keeping safe and well. I'm sad to leave the old series behind but I've heard there's quite a lot of cool new features in this updated version that I just need to see. So hopefully we'll be taking a lot of lessons learned from the old series and we can apply them in this one. A uh, couple of things to mention I have added as discussed in the comments of the last series, the compo packs. I'm really keen to see what buildings we get with that. I've not explored any of them. I have used the previous compo pack back in, when was that, Alpha 19, I think it was, uh, which was awesome. But I haven't seen any of the buildings in the new compo packs. I think So I think it adds a bit of extra excitement to the series, seeing what uh, amazing POIs the guys that have created the compo pack have come up with. Uh, another thing to mention is I've changed the SMX HUD uh, and UI to show the, the number tier for items rather than the colours. So in the previous series, you'll remember that uh, everything was sort of coloured and I was trying to work out what tier weapon or tool that I had uh, in terms of upgrading. But I mean, I think I worked it out in the end. I think pink was level six, but we've changed the... Uh, smx hud to reflect that now so if we do find a pink axe for example it should show us six which uh, helps us massively but yeah guys i'm excited to get into it if you are new to the channel welcome along please make sure you like comment and subscribe to be made aware of future content being released check out the previous series as well uh, had a lot of fun making it we did get a base quite early on, so whether that's going to happen again in this one, I'm not sure. But the church served us well in that last series very early on. So let's get started. We don't need to gather plant fibres because all I need to do is open up my bag here and I get a stack of them. Oh, that's new. We get a bike. Right off the bat we get a bike. That's handy. Right. That does massively help because I've generated a map and potentially because of that, it's an 8k one, it could mean that the trader is quite a long way away. So it uh, helps to have a bike to set on us uh, on our way. Although, putting that bed down, uh, the trader is only 600 meters away. So that's pretty handy. Right. Uh, what else can I create while I'm here? I might as well create some of the plant fiber stuff that I didn't really get around to doing in the last series. We want that early money if we possibly can. Let's get a stone axe going, a stone hammer. Again, you tend to kind of move on quite quickly from the basic stuff because you get a lot of really good tools and things in the loop, which is quite helpful. Uh, let's make a stone pickaxe as well. Should I go stone shovel? Yeah, stone shovel. Um, oh, that's a couple of quests already created. We've got 2k in the bank. Stone sledgehammer as well, I think. Are we going to get lucky and get a steel crowbar and uh, the crossbow that was a massive help to us in the last one? Right, I think that will do us to start with. Right, let's get on our bike. Uh, where is the trader again? Over that way. On our way! Have I not put my boots on? Probably haven't. Oh well. Will we get some boxes on sticks as well? Because we're in the right area for them. It's been able to spot them. Wow, look at that building there. That's obviously part of the compo pack, isn't it? Sky, is it Sky Limited? I think it is. I might just search this car while I'm here. Search this car. Bear with me, zombie. Wow, as you're getting closer, you're getting bigger. Girl zombie. I think that's part of this update. I think you get different size zombies, which wasn't in the last one, just to give a bit of variety. Um, did we get an upgraded sledgehammer there? We did, didn't we? Level 2. Oh, and there you can see, instead of just having the green background, like we used to have, so this is what we used to have, we now get the number next to it instead, which is handy. Oh, you can see that on the uh, tools that I made as well. Uh, we didn't make pl plant fiber shoes, so we've done that and got another extra 1,000 there. So easy early cash. We got trader-wise to start with. Looks 
kind of similar to the one we had at the start of the last series and that helped us through most of the last series. To be the fair, the traders did start rewarding us quite handsomely in the uh, part way through the uh, series. Am I allowed to go in yet? You're still on red. I'm just going to go in anyway, I think. Search your compound for hopefully some decent stuff. Uh, shotgun shells and some brass. Mechanical parts and iron. Iron arrowheads. Oh, it's different Hello, traders. Trevor. Oh, where's, where's Bob and... What was the other one? Was it Jay? I can't remember her name now. We've now got Trader Bill and Trader Jen. Or, oh no, she's called Trader J. Interesting. Uh, I will start to take quests off of you. So slightly different uh, oh, traders this, this time one. compared to the last one. Get radiated. Get radiated? What, this early on, on day one? What are you sending me into? Take a job from you as well. I've got just the task for you. A farm? Is that a modded one? I think it possibly no is. No matter what, I'm grateful for everything you've done. No matter what, that's confidence, isn't it? No matter what's about to happen to you, I'm confident. Oh, screwdriver. Nice. Take that. Axe is a wrench. Uh, headlights. A couple of brass radiators and mechanical parts. So if Trader Bill is downstairs, who's upstairs then? We have great prices. Oh, Trader Bob. <laughs> you look very familiar, Trader Bob. Uh, I'll take a quest from you as well. What have you got? I'm in a bit of a quandary. Costume house well, right, as well. Just out of pure curiosity, have I, I've not taken the same building, have I? Union Station, House 12 and Farm. That's fine. No, I have taken different ones. What can I sell to you? Oh, we've got 5,000 now in the bank. Sell that. We do get a lot of lights when we're wrenching, don't we? So I might as well sell those. Sell the iron heads as well. Don't need any of that early game. We've got anything worth buying? We've got quite a bit of money to spend now. Oh, look, there they are. Tungsten crossbow bolts. Have you got any decent weapons? Quite like having a decent early weapon. Raft or sail? A mini bike for 18,000? Imagine if we got a mini bike like day two or something. Uh, there are no sort of really good weapons. 30,000 on a motorcycle. Okay. Come back sometime. I, well, I definitely will be coming back after doing these quests. Uh, right, I think that's everything, isn't it? Where's my bike? Out here. That was the theme of the last series as well, losing the vehicles. Right. Are there any other quests? As we're progressing through the standard quests, are there any other ones that we could be doing? Gather plant fibres would be good. Craft a wooden club, stone spear and a bone knife. don't think we've got any bones yet. Take you out whilst I contemplate what I'm going to do next. We might get bones actually as we're doing these quests. So where's the nearest one? Uh, you're the nearest, which is just here, is it? Is this the? This isn't a modded farm though, is it? I've seen this in the other playthrough, or is it the one opposite, over the road? Ah yes, this one. This is a modded POI. Right, here we are. What a weird building. Hey. This looks like a decent, solid building as well. Interestingly, we could have found our base. Not far away from the trader either. Uh, let's check the mail. See if we've got any post. Ranger's Guide to Archery Volume 4. Armor piercing arrows. Armor isn't any good if... The arrow can pierce it. Learn how to craft steel arrows and bolts. And uh, Ranger's Guide to Archery Volume 1. 
Learn this trick to safely remove 20% more arrows and bolts from your target. That's really useful. We didn't get many bolts back from using the crossbow in the last one. I'm going to start that again. Search the mailbox again for another new book. Volume 5 this time. Flaming arrows. Uh, no range of fantasy is complete without raining fire from the sky. Craft flaming arrows and crossbow bolts. Yeah, read that. And needle and thread footwear. Everyone needs shoes. Learn to make a variety of good looking and versatile footwear. Yep, take that. Right. Uh, search the car. That tree's going to be a pain. I can see it already. Oh, is it across both these buildings? Is it that building and this one, I wonder? Maybe one could be the base, one could be the hall base. Ooh. I'm going to take this tree down. Oh, what a nightmare. Using a, a level one stone axe. Oh, so weird going backwards to that when we had... I can't remember what the axe was we had in the last one. Was it a tungsten one? Literally just one tap trees in the end. Oh, we have woken up quite a lot. That's the other issue we're going to have with modded POIs, is they tend to have a lot more zombies in. Uh, you break your way out of there while I search this bag. Oh, there's a bone there. Uh, which way is that I'm supposed to go? That one's locked. That one is also locked, but they're opening it up decent sized field as well for planting stuff if we get into the farming side of things. We didn't do that in the last one. Oh, birds nests have changed as well. They've got a different uh, picture on them or different image. Different skin I should say. That's what I meant. To, that's what I was meaning. Right. I think they've opened that door for us, haven't they? Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh, Arlene's not died. Stamina's a bit of an issue. There we go. Right, I'm in. Sounds like someone's breaking out through there. I think we've also got... No? Shut the door behind me. Oh, Marley. Lost her head. Oh, level 2 claw hammer. I'll take that. 762 painkillers. Yeah, so I think this is going to be more of a challenging series than the last one. Only because we've got the compo pack, as I say, which adds, I think, quite a few more zombies to the to the buildings that we'll be raiding. So I do think that gives an extra level of challenge. I can see you there hiding in the corner. Also, stealth isn't my thing. Again, if you've watched the last series, you'll realise that. I tend to go in swinging. Although with the crossbow, uh, it kind of lent itself to doing that. Two hot chocolates. Nice. Oh, a screamer. A small screamer. Again, I like how they've added a bit more variety by uh, putting different zombies in. First aid bandage schematic. Reading this will teach you how to craft the item. Nice. Uh, some crossbow bolts. See, it wants me to get another crossbow. It's given me the bolts for it. Now, in the last playthrough, it took a long time to get a cooking pot. I'm expecting similar things, similar issues in this one as well. Empty glass jars. I should be collecting everything, really, but... We get a lot of glass jars. Can we make the bone knife now, I wonder? Uh, no, we need one more bone. Uh, right, upstairs is it, I guess? Oh, I haven't searched the trash here. I haven't been in this toilet either. Pistol? No. Never going to be that lucky, am I, on day one? This is a decent building, although not much space for all the different workbenches you get on Seven Days to Die. Oh, some things to sell. Plug sockets. Uh, just needed for... Oh, just used for selling or scrapping. Oh, hang on. What'd you get for scrapping it, then? Some electrical parts. Why did I even ask that question? 
door handle, mainly used for selling or scrapping. It's worth quite a bit of money. I might keep that one. I'm all about the cash. Especially when we get into the later game and we not we need to start hiring people. I definitely didn't make the most of that in the last playthrough. Not until the final horde night. And even then we only had the Baker brothers. Oh welcome. <laughs> I've only just moved in. At least bring me a pie or something. Uh, some more abandoned rubbish out here. Oh, they've opened this door up for me. Arlene, you got any friends in it? Oh, I've taken out the sofa whilst trying to swing for her head. Oh, another Arlene. Wasn't happy that I took out her sister. Yeah, get down. I'm going to have to fill in those doors if I did want to make this as a base. Just depends on how much space you get upstairs. Another bone, there we go. So we should be able to do the, the uh, bone knife now. Yep. What was the other thing that we needed to make as part of that quest? Uh, which one was it? Soldier? No. Wooden club and stone spear. Stone spear. Wooden club. And that a lesson learnt from the last one, I'm sure I'll forget though, is to literally watch what you're making, especially on workbenches, because otherwise it doesn't count, which is really frustrating. Especially if you've made uh, like vehicle parts or something, which takes quite a lot of resource. Oh, there's my satchel. Would have forgotten about that. Luckily it was on the table. Uh, advanced splint. Might pop that down there. And the standard bandage. Uh, what I might do is just rearrange this around a bit. Actually, no, let's have it like that. Yeah, that's fine. This one's got different levels, so I'm wondering. There's quite a bit of space in here. We could make it a bit of a base. Oh, and it's got an upstairs. Literally hide around the, the corner from me. Come this way. Is it just you? No, you've got a nurse behind you. Oh, she's now running. God damn it, stop tickling me. How are you still alive? Is that it? No, I think we've got a friend coming in. Maybe it's one of the neighbours. Although with that music, it sounds like it might be a few more than one. I could make the most of this bit up here. I might do as a starter. Stop smacking my walls. I need to see what health these walls are as well. Interesting. Zombie man. It's a great description. Why is it still making the noise? Oh, so if I've just upgraded that, upgraded that to cobble, what are you? 1,200, what are you now? 1,500, okay. A wandering horde? No, just a couple of, a couple of zeds wandering around. It's a decent amount of space, I've got to say. Quite happy with that. Kitchen downstairs. Yeah, we could maybe make that work to start with. That's two series in a row we've managed to find a decent base. Another 1,000 dukes. Um, okay. Yeah, I think we'll use that. Let's uh, save waypoint. Put that as the house. In fact, I might just pop my bed down in here. Anywhere will do. I'll do. Rabbit's just running that one. Can we put a door on the front, maybe? Has that one got an upstairs? No. What if we can utilise that building? Just remind me again, what does the upstairs look like in here? Oh, I've had a, I've had a brainwave. It doesn't happen often. I'm thinking this is my bedroom. 
this is my crafting room. Oh, the old, the old noggin is thinking. Yeah, I think that works. Right, let's pop. Let's pop a couple of doors on. There we go. One there and one there. Yeah, happy with that. Right, on to the next quest. What's the betting this new quest has got an even better building? Right, where are you? Oh, just up the road. Oh, this one's got a garage. <laughs> the other one's not got a garage. Uh, right, tier one fetch. Any loops around? Their fishing weights need to make sure I keep them. Yeah, I do like the new skin on the uh, on the bird nest. That looks quite cool. Uh, which way now? Just fix our sledgehammer. Oh, the garage is unlocked. Nice motor. Don't bother getting up. I'm just having a look at your car. Can I search the car? There we go. Uh, some lead trophies and some polymer. Anything in the toolbox? No. So I guess through this way then. Oh. Haha. <laughs> that was almost sneaky by me. Oh, that door was actually open. Hello. <laughs> what the hell's going on here? I've got a pet deer. Uh. Check the toilet. Oh, God. How does a toilet make that much noise? Oh, God. I hate those zombies. Really hate them. Vitamin D. Anything else here? Skull cap. Yeah, I'll wear that. Got to look the part for taking on the masses of zombies. Uh, yucca juice and a can of sham. Oh, another nurse. Got how good this, the the uh, stone sledgehammer is actually. Maybe that will be our weapon of choice. Determined though in this series to find the class trader. I don't know where they're going to be, but obviously this is a uh, generated map, so I'm not quite sure where they'll be on this one. But I am determined to find one. Some coffee, some more spoiled meat. I think that was blueprint paper, some more jars. Some fertilizer. More jars. This is why I don't tend to take jars, because you get so many. Empty cans. I just tend to scrap them down for iron. For use in the forge. It's a big old POI actually. Bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Is it worth me wrenching anything down? Probably not at the moment. Don't wanna burden ourselves down with loot too early on. I can hear a zombie sleeping somewhere. Uh, where are you? I think you're around that. Oh no, you're there. Wow, you had quite a deep snorey noise for a female zombie. Uh, anything here? No, just piles of wood. Maybe it's you I could hear. Oh, you just lost your head. That's why there was that, that bit of uh, loading. Oh, there's quite a few in here actually. Don't get pinned on the stairs. Actually, let's run down. Oh. It's the time. It's already four o'clock on day one. The day's flown by. Where are you going? 
Okay. Our bag should be upstairs as well. A horrible feeling there's going to be a dog or something in there. Oh, you can search the pallet boxes. What'd you get in those? Different types of resources by the looks of it. Nice. That wasn't a feature in the last one. As I say, I think there's going to be quite a lot of things that we're going to see that we didn't see in um, the previous playthrough uh, that's going to be really exciting. We'll learn them together. Brewery loot. Oh god, that's a hard word to say. Loot crate. Root sangria. I do like a sangria. Search this box for again a load of resources and carrot seeds. Nothing in here. Here's our satchel. Sewing kits. Uh, right. Quest complete then. Don't think we've missed anything. Or you guys will let me know if I have. <laughs> Stone. Some wood. Oh, and new book. Uh, Legwear. Can't find your pants. <laughs> no problem. We've got you covered. Literally, read this book on how to make your own denim jeans, skirts, and overalls. Thank you. Hit with spears scored in quick succession. Do 10% more damage per hit. Up to 30%. Spear Hunter Volume 7. Okay size of that building there like a factory or something right where's the next one 200 I know, 244 meters away so back down this way nice we're making good progress actually knocking out a few quests already found a base well at least a starter base Quite like uh, some of these custom POIs as well. Ooh. Is that the building there? Look how cool that looks. What a horde base that would be if I could take that over. Is it that building there? Or that building there? What the hell is that? Ooh. We might find a found a helper straight away. Somebody shooting. And it sounds like they're shooting with an AK. Yeah, this looks like a cool building. This could potentially be our horde base. Uh, what should we do as a horde base symbol? Maybe a skull? <laughs> horde base? Question mark? I mean, it's going to be a, a bit of a time raiding it by the looks of it. Doesn't look like it's going to be much fun, but look at the bars around it and stuff. Oh, that'll serve us for a while. Uh, right, which building is it we're going to? This one around here? Oh. Let's check this uh, working stiff truck a moment. For some blocks which we needed. Oh, it is a nurse over there with a machine gun. Can I hire you? Don't run away. What are you called? Nightingale. I tap an E on you. Press an E. No? What's going on? You broken? Oh, it's because you're shooting, is it? You've got the same issue that the uh, Baker Brothers had. Yeah, there you go. I'm interested in hiring you. Well, that's steep. Oh, I've got to do it, though, because I didn't make the most of you last time. Not that I had any issues on this game. I did quite well, actually. I think I only died once or twice, maybe? Alright, come on, Nightingale. Follow me. We're going to this building over here. Oh, this one, in fact. This looks a lot bigger than a tier one. All right. Look at that building there. I bet if I walk close to this one, a load of zombies will load in. Yeah, a little bit of lag. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not up for that one. Not yet. Clearing house. The little nurse. Got 
a bit laggy around here. This is one of the concerns that I had with the compo pack. Is A, the amount of zombies, and B, the lag. <laughs> nurse, nursey's clearing house, though. Where are you going? Don't wake them up over there. Uh oh. I like reloaded the zombies or something then. Right through this door. This building is a bit big for a tier one. And some rifle parts. Gothic boots. Have we got boots on at the moment? Just standard shoes. Fibre shoes. So we'll change over to those. Alright, love. Calm your jets. Trying to be stealthy for the first time ever. Oh. Battering them, them up so that you can take them down with your unlimited amount of ammo. Uh, what else have we got in here? There's oh. our. Satchel, nice. Cooler. Come on, game, keep up. This is horrible. I don't know how I can make this any better, really. Search the lockers for some padded gloves. Yeah, better than my, again, standard fibre gloves. It just feels like soupy. So like it's like going in the water basically on seven days to die. Yeah, one of that. Uh might take that for selling actually. Not having to do much uh, getting at the moment. Because uh Nursey's taking care of it all. Lots of uh, cooler boxes, eh? Some beer. Lots of beer, in fact. <laughs> Very much a lot of beer. Some yucca juice. Uh, there's another nurse there, which will probably come our way. Unless uh, Nightingale takes her out first. I mean, you stood right next to her, in fact. Ooh, weapon flashlight mod. Ooh. Let's check on my... Help. There we go. Ooh, bandana. Wear that. Take the sweatshirt. Probably sell it. The duster. I do tend to prefer a leather duster. Nice. Good work. Some vitamins. Some empty cans. There's a lot of loot in here. Get rid of the cowboy boots, not bothered about them. Any books? Muffled connectors mod. Schematic. Uh, jacket. I might take the paint out of these and make the most of the, the paint. Did she just. Did she take down the nurse that was walking up those stairs? Oh, she has now. <laughs> so nice having somebody with an unlimited amount of bullets guarding me. Just getting stuck on the luggage now, though. So much in here. What's the time? Half seven. Need to get back to... Trader soon. Oh god, we're getting double teamed. I'm not sure I helped at all there. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Do you heal back up again? Show me your inventory. What if I put, say, some of you in there? Do you use them? I don't think you do. I think you just carry stuff for me, basically. Some more dukes. Some more luggage to look through for some tungsten armour parts. Nothing else here, no. 
We have a nerf. Don't worry, Nightingale, I've got this one. You leave this one with me. God damn it. The spider zombies. Oh, horrible. Some more food. This is why I'm not bothered about um, taking glass jars, because you get so much like fluids and stuff and drinks during the during the game. You don't ever need to Oh I might wear that. Quite a fan of the old cowboy hat. That essentially you don't you don't need to make drinks using empty glass jars like like filling it up for water and stuff. Um have I got this bookcase here? Yeah, I haven't got that one. To be fair, there's only paper in it. That's not helpful. Oh, there's a downstairs. Of course there's a downstairs. I mean, we have completed the quest. So, but we haven't got the loot, which I assume is downstairs. I think we've got everything else in here, yeah. Oh no, there isn't a downstairs. What the hell? Yes, there is a downstairs. <laughs> Take you down. Literally took the top of his head off. Oh, the loot's just here. That's all right. That's not too bad then. I thought there was going to be like another level to raid. Uh, finish your moves. Do 20% extra damage to knock down and stunned opponents. Yep, we'll read that. Ec oh, higher level padded gloves. Level 3 instead of level 2. So 762. Just out of curiosity, can we make... No, we can't. Need some more short iron pipes. Okay. I'm not so worried about needing a pipe machine gun or something early game. Uh, I think we've got everything. Don't think there's anything we've missed. Oh, missed the paint over here. I've actually missed these lockers. Not much in them. Got the satchel, didn't we? Yeah. Right. Let's, let's go. Uh, bike. It's just over here. All right, to glass jars. Uh, right. I think it doesn't help that we're in the city as well. All right. Let's head down this road. I think. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to be a hell of a old base. I mean, it's going to be a lag fest if I can't sort out. That particular issue. See, it's fine once you get out of the city. Back to the trader. Hand these quests in. Have a look at our base. All right, Nursey. I'm slightly worried about you. So you stay where you're standing while I go into the trader. Got some uh, got some adult stuff to do. Okay, you stay outside. Yeah, do what you do best. Right, where's the first one here? You again? I'm starting to think you like Dr. Jen. Yes, I do, but don't tell Nurse the outside. Don't tell Nightingale. Good job. I knew you could do it. Batter up volume five. Learn how to care for your bat. <laughs> It'll last a long time. Bats and clubs degrade 20% slower. Yeah, we'll take that. Take another job off of you. Uh, 239 Here? meters. Always looking for some adventurous soul. Thanks, I son. suspect that's the I farm. Knew you wouldn't let me Thanks, know. hun. What does that do? Oh, that just turns the lights on and off. I haven't looked through here, have I? No, I haven't. Does that turn the light off? Ah, nice. Welcome, survivor. You did it. Great I did do job. it. Oh, nine mil or hunter's journal. These dwarves. Coyotes. These desert-dwelling scavengers can be vicious when in packs. Do 10% more damage against coyotes. I should really take that. Do you have any jobs? Uh, Do you think you can help zombies? me with a problem? Another farm. Okay. We've got to search the bookcase here. Uh, wind surface sail schematic. And some paper. What well, are you going to give me? To I'll take the 762. Thank you. I'll take another job from you. Uh, 
I really admire you, friend. Safe house. Well, I'm asking. Oh, I'll take thank that. You very much. I will make it worth your while. Check your filing cabinet for some more paper. Coffee maker, coffee beans, don't want those. Hoping that our helper isn't getting battered out there. She's not actually showing on my screen at the moment. Take those. Alright. Uh, yeah, slightly worried we've lost her already. Let's have a bite. Oh god, where is she? I told her to stay where she was. I literally said stay where you're standing. Um, Nightingale? <laughs> Can't have lost her already. Oh god, it's just hit 10 o'clock as well. When I really needed it. Oh god. Oh no. Um. Oh god, I've literally got nothing to hit them with. Apart from... No. Oh. Stamina, please. Where the hell is she? She died. There's a bear over there. Uh, I'm bleeding. Let's put a bandage on. Where the hell has she gone? XP card. Right. I'm going to learn from previous and not use that XP card straight away. It's another bit of learning from the last one. It's so dark. I think she's died. Can't believe it. I had a helper. Oh, there she is. She did die. What the hell killed her? Oh, that's so annoying. We had her for like two seconds. Can't see anything. Uh, where's our house over there? Right, let's head back to the house. Oh, I'm gutted. Hmm. I'm going to have to try and find another one now. That cost us a lot of money as well. Right, back at house. Oh, what a sad day. Oh, God. No, no, no. Oh, God damn it. That's slightly worrying. Day one, already died. I'm pretty, I'm pretty worried for the rest of the series now. It's so dark, I've had to put the uh, brightness up on my screen. Oh god, guys, please, can you just do one? Not again. Not again. Oh come on. Oh, no, that's a dog. I need a weapon. Oh, God, I need stamina and I need a weapon. Um, oh. No, stamina, please. Let's go in the house, shut the door. Try and get some stamina back. Oh. oh no! My bloody thing's broken! No! Don't mind me! Oh. You're gonna have to stay you're gonna have to stay in my thing for now. Oh I can't I can I fix you? I can fix you, thank god for that. Ah, oh, this is horrendous. Can't really swing my arm because I've got something going on with it. Ah, oh, great. What a start. Yeah, I've done something to my arm. Well, this is going to be a challenging uh, series. I can already see it. Oh, 
Oh, somebody outside as well. <laughs> oh, Wrecked, are you feeling small? Oh, hang on, how have you hit me there? Um, I'm sorry, what? Diddy Wrecked has got apparently extendable arms. I've died twice. I've died bloody twice. Um, okay, alright, this is how this is going to go, is it? Where are you, wrecked? Come and see me. Yeah, this way, my friend. Oh, wow, you're tough. 475 health. That's not the way I want to picture you, wrecked. Oh, you are tough. Although you did drop a blue bag, which is quite nice. Hazmat gloves, brass doorknobs, some 9 mil. Right, we're going to have to think this uh, series through, I think. Weapons are going to be key. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, wow. What a horrible start to the series. We found a base. That's the main thing. We've hammered out a few quests as well. But, uh, yeah, 47 kills, level 18, two deaths on day one. That bodes well for the rest of the series. But that will do us, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed this one. Please make sure you do like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.